All right, so very briefly, the last panel here is the camera calibration panel. Basically, for the most part, you guys can leave this as default, which is 2010, and then the profile is going to be Adobe Standard. What this is used for is for creating very, very specific camera calibration profiles uh, to kind of get a slightly more accurate color profile from your cameras. You can also use it to kind of create artistic color profiles of those cameras. We'll probably have some tutorials on this in the future, but for now, I want to kind of skip it and uh, move right into basically the just developing and getting you guys onto actually developing photos, teaching you guys different recipes and different techniques and stuff like that for developing. As far as the menu goes in the develop module, in the library module we actually covered each specific menu component and went over things that we might not have covered in the library uh, interface. Well, in the develop module, pretty much everything in the menu system is identical to either the library interface or to what we've already covered in the develop module. So it's really just a duplication of everything. Um, your shortcuts, again, are in your help section. The rest of it is going to be really intuitive. You guys are going to know what each item is. So we're just going to kind of skip that. If you guys have gone through all the entire library and the develop module detail, uh, congratulations. You guys are going to be light your masters by the time you're done with this. Uh, let's get on to the good stuff. We're actually going to teach you guys all the recipes and techniques of developing your photos.